perpetual, perpetual cycle of shit. <laughs> How's it going, adventure friends? <laughs> this right here, this could be our girl. This or a guy. Yeah, or a guy, yeah. Okay. We're not really too sure what gender it is, but uh, <laughs> we're in the final stages now. Drum roll. We're here about to get our final inspection on the bus to see if the underbelly is good and the engine is in fine shape and um, really just to make sure that there's no big expenses or repairs on the bus before we take it on as our own and uh, yeah. Yeah, so renovation. yeah, we're super excited to see uh, see its condition overall. Like we already did a visual inspection in the last video, but this one we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty, mm -hmm. have uh, the mechanics look at it, and uh, I'm I'm thinking that it's pretty positive. But we'll see. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We gotta we gotta see what they say, and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, and just have them tell us a bit more about the bus. Um, so that we know what we're getting into and maybe he can give us some pointers where to start and how to remove some of the school stuff like yeah. specifically um, the alarm system for the students and the stop sign and the what are the blinking lights for? Loading and unloading loading, lights. Loading and unloading yeah. lights. So here we go. Yeah, yeah. checking um, for cracks and just like uh, the condition of the emergency exit we've been watching some videos and some people say that like they're cracked and kind of worn out you could have just bought your bus and you're driving down the highway and all of a sudden an alarm starts going off well these hatches supposedly um, they break down fast on some types of school buses and that's the alarm that's sounding and the hatch can like totally blow off <laughs> so I think this one looks really good nice yeah nice the bus looks really good. So something that we're, oh, where's the light? Here we go. So something that we're looking at right now is we're looking around all the windows, we're looking around the floorboards to make sure there's no cracking of any of the flooring material, which indicates that there could be uh, like a leaking problem that happened from water and salt and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, we're on Ontario, you know? This thing runs when it snows and it's gonna be impossible to find a perfect machine unless you buy one brand new. <laughs> and uh, It's probably a little out of our budget. Yeah, so. And a lot of people's budgets when yeah. it comes to buying a school bus you may as well get something that has a little bit of character that's had life in it um, this is cool yeah this but it feels really solid good. in here yeah yeah <laughs> body and start or the body start collapsing on itself right uh-huh yeah that's exactly what they're gonna start to do eh? they get really thin and they'll weak weaken up uh-huh especially these 90 degree ones eh? they just fill yeah fill with the salt and the sand and that's not good no it's not side uh, looks like the air to air might be leaking but if there's oil coming out that means the turbo is putting oil into the air system Ooh. what's a normal amount of rust like that's tolerable because like whenever I look at this initially whenever I was seeing that this, would never bother me right there that wouldn't because that frame is so thick and it's yeah. actually heat treated steel uh -huh. now when you get into the light crossbar very thin then this when you gotta be more concerned are you looking at a money pit here 
I'm just giving you options. It might, yeah. so none, of that, none of that might ever happen. Yeah. But it's common for these engines. Yeah. yeah. Perpetual cycle of shit. <laughs> <sighs> Not our girl. Not our girl. Or guy. Or dude, yeah. So uh, once the mechanic got underneath the bus uh, and started banging around on some of these cross members, it was completely evident. Yeah, it's too rusty. Yeah, the, so. The whole body, they said, it just like, it makes it more fragile and down the road, like with all the weight we want to carry with water and stuff, mm -hmm. it's too, it's gonna be too heavy and it's too beat up already. I yeah. see why people go to the States. Yeah, so uh, they recommended that maybe go out towards, uh, where, Edmonton? Edmonton? Yeah, yep. because it's so cold there, they use sand, he said, on the roads instead of salt, because salt doesn't work when it's that cold. So yeah. that could be an option to call around dealers there. Then we don't have to worry about taking it across the border. Mm -hmm. um, so probably Edmonton is our next bet, or out that direction, um, and then, if that's a no-go, then we're going to probably go to like Arizona or something. Yeah, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Uh, keep following the journey though, because uh, we're gonna make this happen. That's right. We're determined. We're determined. Yeah. So if you haven't yet, go ahead, click subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time we come out with a brand new video just for you. Until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye. Come on. <laughs> that was a, that was a good transition. That was not my favorite. Cool. Rock and roll. Thanks, for Thanks the so time, much, Tony. It was great talking to you. Excellent. Fun talking to you guys. <laughs> you rock, right. brother. Talk, Talk to you soon. soon. Bye. 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 Holy smokes, He's that just happened. He's been with us for 30 minutes. Yeah. 30 minutes, Tony, from uh, AAA buses. <sighs> Interesting. I think we're going to Arizona. Yeah, we might be flying to Arizona and check this out. <laughs> no leaks around the heater. This is good news. Nice. No leaks, this bus looks really good. But it's, they're probably one of the most expensive, troublesome engines out there. Sure. Really? <laughs> It's not if they're gonna break, it's when they're gonna break. Fuck. We usually always have one tour apart in the, in the shop, or we're just one shop.